I have a fresh Laravel application and all I've done is that I've removed all the code inside the body tag, the style inside the head tag and I've updated the text inside the title tag. So now if you visit the browser, all you have is an empty view. So the first thing I'm going to do is to install view. So go to the terminal and run this command to install view. After that, let's create a view app. So we'll go to resources, js, app.js. So this will be the entry point of our view application. And to create it, we need to import a method to do so. So I'll say import create app from view. So now I can go ahead and use that method to create our app. So I'll say create app and then it's a method and it requires us to pass a component. Since you don't have one, let's go ahead and create it. So go to JS, new file and I'll call it app.view. Inside it I'll just say template. Then I'll just output a h1 and say this is our, uh, is our root component and then that's it so go back to app.js to use it we need to import it first so import app from js slash app.view so now we can go ahead and use it so app.view not sorry app we've imported it as app save so now that we have our app we need to link it to our welcome file so that we can be able to see what we have in our components. And to do that, we will first bundle the code that we have here and then link a code that is bundled. And to bundle it, we'll use a tool called Vit. So when you go to package.json, you'll see that you already have Vit here. So to install it, just go to the terminal and run npm install and that will install all the dependencies that we have in this file. After that, let's go to the configuration file to configure that. So we have Vit. To configure it to bundle view code for us, we need to, in, to install a plugin. So go to the terminal and then install at vitjs plugin view. After that, let's import it. So import view from Vit plugin view then after that let's register it inside the plugins array so I'll come, I'll come here and say view that's what we called it then a comma after the view so now view knows that it's supposed to uh, no sorry not view Vit knows that it's supposed to bundle the view code for us so the next thing I'm going to do is to start Vit development server so I'll just say npm run dev and this will automatically detect any changes in our view files and it will, it will reflect the changes in the browser. So after that, this will work, but I'm going to remove this. And that is because Vit works best without the CSS entry point. So I'll remove that, then save. Now let's go ahead and link our input to our file. So I'll copy this then come here so to get the bundled code what you do is that you just use the vit um vit blade directive so you can just say at vit then pass your input and that's it so now this file has the access to the bundled code from this uh, from this file so now the last thing that you're supposed to do is tell view in what element inside the body tag should it take control? So I'm going to create a div here with an ID of app, then save it, go to app.js, and I'll just tell view kindly take charge inside the element with the ID of app. So if we save this, then switch to the browser and restart. There we go, this is our root component, and now we are getting this from view. That's it for this lesson. So in the next lesson, let's learn how to redirect all route requests to our root components. Cheers.